First of Muharram, it's recognized to be the first day of the new Hijri calendar. Everyone knows, yes? In some places around the world, they celebrate. In other places, they question. Normally, people celebrate on a new year. Shouldn't you also celebrate when it comes to the first of the new calendar? The problem that we have in this regard is, and it is possible that what I'm about to say you may not have come across before, but we may have a essence or a problematic historical connection in the sense that we may show that Muharram is not the Islamic new year. What do we mean? Let's look at how Muharram became the new Hijri calendar. Yes. When it comes to a number of scholars, a number of scholars like whom? For example, you have Ibn Sa'ad, Ibn Athir, Ya'qubi, yes, and others. They said before 16 years after Hijrah, there was no calendar for Muslims. In other words, at the time of the Holy Messenger, Muhammad al-Mustafa, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. They believe, and this is a common understanding, that at the time of the Prophet, there was no way to somehow have a connection to time in the idea that there was no calendar that people would refer to. So some would go by the year of the elephant. Some would go by the year of the birth of the Holy Messenger, and so on. And so they believe, amongst the common understanding of the Muslims today, that the individual who introduced the Islamic calendar, 14, Yes, 43 tomorrow. Is whom? The second Khalifa Umar. How? He came and was told by a number of Sahaba, let's have a calendar of our own. Let's start something. He said, where? How should we start? Which event should signal the beginning of the Islamic calendar? Some said the Wilad of the Prophet. Some said the Bi'atha of the Prophet. Yes. They say, these number of narrations, they say that the individual who recommended that it should be the Hijra of the Prophet was whom? was Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib sallallahu wa sallam alayhi. Despite being hesitant, Ya'qubi, who's an non-Shia, says the second Khalifa was hesitant. He didn't want to take it. He finally accepted. And at the year 16 after Hijrah, the Islamic calendar was established. That is the common view today. Yes? But we have a problem. Hijri calendar means what? means that the prophet of islam what performed the journey of hijra migration from mecca to medina question all the historians all the scholars today and in the past when did the prophet perform the hijra they'll tell you rabi al awwal i could not find a credible reference to say muharram that the prophet of islam made this migration let me tell you some sources for example yes fathul bari for example, you have Al-Hakim Al-Hasakani and other Sunni references, the 20 of them I found, that what? That the Prophet of Islam ordered and said, that what? That we could consider the beginning or that the Hijrah took place in Rabi'a. Rabi'a al-Awwal. Yes? Now the question that I wanted to establish in my own research is, why did the second Khalifa then start the first of the Hijri calendar in Muharram and not Rabi'ul Awwal. If everybody believes 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal is the day the Prophet of Islam reached Medina, why did he start in Muharram and not Rabi'ul Awwal? Why? History is silent about this. Nobody's, everybody's refusing to speak or to say why. What is the reason that there is an, what, two months earlier that the calendar starts? When you dig further, you'll find out that there is evidence, substantial evidence, that the new year was not established by the second Khalifa in the year 16 after Hijrah. It was established by Rasulullah during his lifetime. And it was in Rabi' al-Awwal, not Muharram. Someone says, this is a claim. Give me evidence. Number one, like I said, there are 20 sources that point to this from the books of our brothers as well as our books that says the Prophet of Islam, when he arrived in Medina, that's when he said, start the calendar from now. When he arrived in Rabi'ul Awwal. Number one. Number two, we have a document today, a manuscript, which is dated nine after Hijrah. And it is what? 
it was written by Amir al-Mu'mineen and stamped by Rasulullah. That means that the calendar was established at the time of Rasulullah. Why else would it be dated as nine after Hijrah? And perhaps the strongest of the evidence that I could find is a hadith that is found in nine books of hadith literature. For example, Al-Khawarizmi, who's Hanafi, yes? as well as Kanzul Al-Ummal and others. This is a, pro a prophetic narration that says, the Holy Prophet of Islam said, from Umm Salama, Yuqtalu Hussein ibn Ali. Please understand this hadith. Because if you understand this hadith, you will recognize there's been a lot of playing around with dates in Islamic history. This hadith says, Yuqtalu Hussein ibn Ali ala ra'si sanat sittina min muhajiri. That Hussein ibn Ali will be killed in the year 60 after Hijrah. This is found in where? This is found in nine references. The conclusion, therefore, that we may come to is what? Is that for some reason throughout history, and no doubt there is the hands of Bani Umayyah and Bani Abbas in order to somehow erase the remembrance of the 10th of Muharram and Ashura, somehow to minimize its significance, would say that the first of the month of the year should be in Muharram. And there was what? Distortion throughout history. And therefore, we've come to this point that we are today.